Hey everyone, Tiger Tanaka here, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we took on the Mauville City Gym after beating the crap out of all its Ralts. In this part, we're going to be going west to Verdanturf Town. However, I wanted to make one uh, mention before I go anymore, and I was trying to before Wally came up, is that an Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire game corner does not exist. So many complaints were given by parents that Game Freak is just completely discontinuing the idea of ever having a game corner ever again. So, just a moment of silence for the game corner. Okay, moving on. This route here, Route 117, this route has the daycare. Which will allow you to deposit Pokemon into the daycare, and every step you take, that Pokemon will gain one experience point. However, if a Pokemon will try to learn a move as it levels up, it will learn that move and overwrite one of your move slots. So be careful of that. It will also allow you to breed Pokemon. However, breeding is a very complicated mechanic. If you're interested, you're going to have to look that up yourself, because that would take at least an entire video of its own. However, enough of that. Let's get to battling. I'm gonna tag up with my super senior student partner and beat you. Sure you are. I went ahead and switched my party around off screen because, well, Marsh Tomp got really over leveled from that gym battle. And I set up my team specifically for this battle. This route I remember the most fondly because I would always just ride around, not even just hatching eggs. I would, just, I would just. Right around here, battle all the trainers over and over and over again because I could. So I remember pretty much every Pokemon every trainer has on this route. I know, that's kind of insane. And Lombre is level 23, so Wingle's gonna have some really good catching up to do. But I think it'll be fine. Down goes their Zigzagoon. Never mind, Wingle doesn't have as much catching up to do as I thought. Still has some, though. Oh no, I'm sorry, Anna, I let you down. And pretty much every trainer on this route will register you on the Pokenav, so you can rematch them whenever you want. However, some of the trainers were switched around in their locations from Emerald to Ruby and Sapphire. For example, that triathlete would be up there, the senior and junior twins would be down there, this breeder and another breeder would have their locations switched, I don't know why they bother doing that, but hey. Listen, I could get you to battle the Pokemon I'm raising. I totally read that wrong. However, think about breeders. At least in this route, they will always have six Pokemon. However, they're extremely underleveled for some reason. So you can probably one-shot every single one of them. And they generally do have a variance in type. However, these, or at least this guy, tends to have a lot of normal types. Aran, on the other hand, is a rock steel type, so that'll go down to a water gun. Luciana. Yeah, this is kind of pathetic. But it's easy experience for Wingull and is very much needed. You've raised yours superbly. Anyway, this. <laughs> This person will also register you, I always forget about that part. However, this triathlete down here has a Doduo. I'm in the middle of a triathlon, but whatever, let's have a battle. Alright, Dylan? Yep, Dylan. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, it's just, this route has so many memories for me because I would spend so much time here. Anyway, Doduo, it's fast and kind of strong once it evolves, but you can't get it for a very long time, which is the only downside to it. However, in this generation, it has something it can do that it can't do in any other generation. It gets Tri-Attack. In other generations, it's a special attack, so it would use its special attack stat. However, in this generation, all normal attacks are physical, so that means Doduo gets a physical Tri-Attack. That's something that no other Pokemon has ever been able to do. However, we have another triathlon here who also has a Doduo, but it is female. Hello, Maria. Maria! I don't even know. 
be a battle of the flying types right now. And yes, despite its appearance, it can somehow fly. Don't ask me how, but it can learn the HM fly. In Pokemon Stadium games, it just kind of stands in the air, so I don't even know. However, Lake Wingle is level 23, and we might as well keep it up front for a little bit longer. So if I'm not mistaken, it'll evolve next level. And just like all the other trainers, Maria will register you in the Pokenav. However, they did add a couple more trainers in this route in Emerald, and I don't remember them as well because, well, I spent all my time in Ruby version. So let's see, Battle Girl Aisha. And of course she has a Metatite because why would she have anything else? Anyway, Wing Attack should one-shot it if it doesn't detect, which luckily it didn't. Yep, it one shot it. I don't waste any time being angry over loss, I'd rather train. Well, I guess that's a good policy to live by. And let's go ahead and trigger a double battle if we can here. There we go. Isn't it nice to battle while looking up pretty flowers? Let me demonstrate the power hidden within a psychic Pokemon. Alrighty then. We have Melina and Brandy. And no, none of these trainers will register you in their Pokenavs because I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's wing attack. Actually, let's just focus on the Doduo because it's a flying type and I have a grass type out. It's not going to be a good combination of things. Almost down already, jeez. Confusion. And yes, I said it like that intentionally. God damn it, you had to confuse me. Anyway, let's water gun and... Bully seed. I probably should have ganged up on Dodo again in case that happened. I knew that was gonna happen. Ouch. Cut it out. Being annoying. Anyway, it should turn into Swift here. There we go, and luckily that KO'd. That was really close. Now we should probably heal here, because Wingle took a pretty big beating. Okay, I don't even, yeah, I should probably get uh, shopping again once we get to Verdant Turf Town. However, we got a tree we can cut down here, so obviously there's something behind it. It is a revive. Very nice. Still can't get those in stores yet, so they're very nice. Once a bug catcher and now a bug maniac, my love for Pokemon remains unchanged. Well, I suppose that's good. Bug Maniac Derek. It's the name of my half brother. However, he has Dust Tox and Beautifly, something you don't really get to see that much because, well, every other bug trainer before now would have Silcoon or Cascoon. Neither of which are very good, as you can imagine, because they're cocoons. However, Dust Tox and Beautifly at this point of the game are worth loads of experience because they're the few fully evolved Pokemon that you can actually encounter at this point. And Beautifly can learn like Mega Drain and stuff, so it'll have a grass tick. Wow. <laughs> I didn't think it'd get one-shotted by a wing attack from Wingle, but hey, I'm not complaining. But if I'm not mistaken, Wingle will want to evolve here. So let's see if I'm right. Nope, must be another level or two. Oh well, it's still caught up now, and Zigzagoon picked up an item, so let's take it. An escape rope, those will come in handy. However, in this grass here, before I forget, in Ruby version, I believe, you get Volbeat, in Sapphire you get Ulamize, and in all three of the games, you can run into Roselia. It is actually a pretty good grass type, having really high special attack, and not all that fast. But, it does have the Poison Point or Natural Cure ability, both really good abilities, pretty powerful Pokémon. And if you just wanted to grind for a while, they're worth pretty good experience too, and what- Oh, hi Wally. I just wanted to tell you that my uncle bought me a Pokénav, now I can get in touch with you anytime. So now he's in our Pokénav too, great. Speaking of great, Great Ball. And there's a hidden item over here, a repel. Not that great, but it's a free repel, so why not? We have one more trainer here, Breeder Lydia. 
Allow me to evaluate if you've raised your Pokemon properly. Well, definitely more than yours, at least. Wingull! Almost a Wingull v. Wingull fight, if, wing if my Wingull didn't level up. Anyway, let's go on Bullet Seed, because I don't think a Fake Out here is necessary. Goldeen, you're sending that out against a Bullet Seeder. Smart. Zelly, on the other hand, that could raise a problem, so let's go to Wingull. Not so much that it'll do enough damage to uh, Lombre, it's just that Lombre couldn't really touch it. Same with Shroomish here. Meryl, on the other hand, Lombre can easily take care of. Go on Bullet Seed. And Skitty. Fuck your Skitty. I hate Skitty so much just because even its evolved form is useless, and the only thing they are useful for is that cute charm bullcrap. And just like almost every trainer on this route, Lydia will register you in the Pokenav. But with all that done, we are in Verdanturf Town. It's about frickin' time. We could have taken the Rusturf Tunnel, but it's being blocked by boulders. So we had to go all the way around the Horn region just to get here. Very annoying. However, now that we are in Verdanturf Town and we can use Rock Smash. What do you say we help out that couple trying to reunite? After we battle a hiker because he's in our fucking way. I don't know, old man. I really don't know. Nor do I really care. Alright, Geodude, let's go ahead and put Wingle in front because I want to try to get it to evolve soon. I really do. And Machop, let's wing attack that. Almost a one shot. And there we go. So yeah, let's go ahead and put Wingle in the front now. Um, there is one other side of Verge Ruster Tunnel you can go to. That is over here. This is Route 116. It's a pretty short side of the route. Let's pick up this item here. An HP up. Very nice. Gives uh, Pokemon 10 HP EVs. Anyway, if we talk to this person here... I dropped my glasses. Can you help me find them? Well, with our ever-so-useless item finder, we can try to find it. So, let's see... Nope, nope, there they are, black glasses! Don't think these are what he's looking for. Those glasses, may I see them for a second? These are black glasses, they're not what I'm looking for. Man, my glasses aren't around here. Then he just leaves. So yeah, black glasses will increase the power of dark type moves once held by a Pokemon. Or held by a Pokemon, excuse me. Other than that, no real use. So, if you're using Pokemon with dark type moves, that'll be useful to you. I'm not, so it'll probably just rot in my PC forever. However, there's another item up here. And that is a Max Ether. Maxes out the power points of a Pokemon's moves, or restores a Pokemon's moves fully. Anyway, on the other side of this rock, my boyfriend is there. He's not g digging the tunnel to come see me. He works his hands raw and rough for the benefit of everyone. Well, may you do that no more! Wow, you shattered that boulder blocking the way. To show you how much I appreciate, I'll, I'd like to give you this HM. Get HM04, which is strength. Very good normal type attack. However, I don't really have anything that would make use of it right now. Wanda, now I can see you anytime. That's wonderful. Please take some rest at my home. While there isn't, or while this guy isn't named Cosmo, unfortunately, there is a Cosmo later in the game, which is kind of funny if you watch Fairly Odd Parents. Anyway, after that reunion, I'd say we're pretty much done for right now. It's next time on Pokemon Emeralds. We'll be exploring Burden Turf Town. See you guys then.